Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. I'm Grumpus. Well, it's been another scorcher in Houston today. Just got off of work. I'm ready to prop my feet up and cool off. But I gotta feed my family first. So stick around. I'm gonna do some brisket enchiladas in under an hour. Folks, I got a paper towel here. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Pam on it. Just kind of lightly rub this baking dish down. This will make cleanup a little easier. There we go, that's all it needs right there. So I stopped on the way home to the tortilla store, picked up some fresh flour tortillas. Got flour because that's what we like. Got some beautiful leftover brisket right here. We got some here from the point, got a little bit of lean here from the flat, that's what the wife likes. And we're gonna use that first. I got some four cheese Mexican blend. I'm gonna put just a little bit of that on the bottom. Not a whole lot. I'm gonna take some of this beautiful brisket. Put a piece down there. Maybe I'll put two. I'm gonna come back with some pepper jack. And we're gonna roll it up. We're kinda tight. Seam side down. Put them right there. I'll do one more. Put our tortilla down. A little bit of Mexican blend right here. Put in some more of this beautiful brisket. You saw me do this brisket on my last cook. We have just about devoured it all. Come back with a little bit of pepper jack. Not a lot, but we don't want to run out the ends. I'm just going to fold this baby up. Seam side down. Folks, this could not be any easier. All we're doing here is assembling. Everything's off the shelf. I literally came up with this idea on the way home. Anybody can stop by the store, pick everything up off the shelf. I cut up some onions and stuff for later. So prep time was about 10 minutes. And that's it. Just put them together. Shoot, this is something you'd go soak in a hot tub and have the kids put together, have it ready when you get out. And there you have it, ready for the next step. Do you ever have one of those nights you just can't make up your mind what you're craving? I'm having one of those tonight. So we're gonna have us some red enchilada sauce. We're just gonna put over, all over, right out of the can, right off the store shelf. Don't be hating, this is how I do it. We're gonna come on the other end with our green enchilada sauce. We can do both, do a half and a half. Let that soak in real good. Kind of move that pan around a little bit. Let it work its way around. Now we're gonna come back. some more of that Mexican cheese blend. There we go. Spread it around the best you can. We'll put some more on later. We'll come back with some of our pepper jack. Everything all covered up real nice. Try to get to the edges. You know what? I'm gonna come back with just a little bit of white onion. Just diced up pretty small. And that's that. Time to get this thing on some heat. If that can sauce set you off, better hold on to your seat. Oh yeah, we're cooking this on my outdoor oven. We 
just set this in here. So I've set a timer for 15 minutes. We'll come back and check our, we want our cheese to be nice and melted, bubbly, uh, maybe just starting to uh, brown just a little bit. Uh, keep in mind, everything here is already cooked, so we're basically just warming it through. I'm not exactly sure how hot we're running. Uh, these little gauges on these uh, gas grills are never very reliable. Uh, I've got it cranked up as high as it'll go without a grease fire. So we'll come back in 15 minutes, see how she looks. Well, it's been 15 minutes. We're bubbling on the edges. Cheese is starting to melt. I think we'll give this five more minutes and let that cheese brown up just a bit. Don't that look like something you could eat? Cheese is nice and melted and bubbly. Nice and brown on the top. We end up letting this go about 30 minutes. I think it's time to pull this off and let it cool. There we go. I think we might have to let that sit for about 10 minutes to cool off. All right, we've let this cool off about 10 minutes. Let's see if we can get one out of here without completely destroying it. Let's go in here on the green end. Might get one here on the end. There we go. Put one right there. Grab one on the red ones. And there we are. And let's look at that. Alright, I think we need to put just a little bit more cheese on that. A little more on the top. We'll come back with a little sour cream. Maybe a little more. I'm going to come back with just a little bit of onion. A little bit of tomato. Since it's mine, we'll put just a little bit of cilantro on that. And no, I didn't forget the charro beans. You know, this really is my plate, so nobody's looking. I'm going to put a little gator shake on mine. Let's give this a taste. Well, let's try this out, see if I can do it without scalding the roof of my mouth. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's just one more way to hide brisket. You know, around here, after I do a long, a big brisket, you know, we eat on that for quite a while. A lot of times I come home and I'm fixing supper and I'm hearing, are we having brisket again? I know, I don't get it either. But this is a way to hide it. Uh, you know, we do all the other traditional stuff, baked potatoes and all that. But first time I've tried it in the enchilada, come out really, really good. So total cook time, uh, we cooked it for 30 minutes. I let it rest for uh, 10 minutes. And I guess prep time was maybe another 10 minutes. So we come in under an hour. So if you like what we've done tonight, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? We sure appreciate if you want to do that. Appreciate you tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. I'm Grumpus. We'll see you next time.